Welcome back to our Microsoft Project Professional Tutorial. In this third lesson of our tutorial, I am going I am going to show you how to format and share your plan with other project stakeholders. Now when we are finished editing our project, we need to share this information that we have created with other parties that we are working with on the same project. And want to want us to add some columns in our schedule. And I'll start with the earliest start time for the project. Then I'll go to the latest start time. I'll go to the early finish and late finish. Then I'll add the slacks. So let's get started. So I'll come here. Right click, click on insert column and type early start and then the next one is insert column, late start, click on late start, so right click, select insert column and the next one is early finish the other column should be late finish now when we are done with that we go to columns for the slacks so right click select insert column and type start then I'll select start slack do the same again and this time round finish slack and the last column is insert is our total slack okay so if you look at our project we have new columns that are we have inserted and this all this information is going to help us to manage our project better and now after doing this I want us to do something else here let me adjust this I want us to change the font of our writings so let's go to the format tab up here this is the format tab click on it and then click on text styles when text style is open items to change make sure you have selected all items and then under font type times new roman click let it be regular font number 10 and click ok so i think font number 10 looks very small you can adjust that to font number 11 click ok then i can adjust these columns adjust the columns make this smaller make this also smaller make this smaller also and the duration column also adjust is fine so after that and us to go back to text styles and under items to change click on that drop down and select summary tasks then for the summary task we will have the font style as times new roman and font the font as times new roman the style is bold font size number 11 and click ok so you see this one here changes ok go back to the format tab again format tab and this time round I want us to click on grid lines and then select grid lines and 
below here lines to change select sheet columns this is the type of line that I want then I want to change this color to this shade of blue and click OK you see the changes are, have been reflected there now if you go back to our reference file if you go back to our reference file and look at the order of the tasks or the activities for our project they have a numbering they have a numbering from 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 that way so we go back to our project and under the format tab you will find this here so check this box outline number and if you look at our project these numbers have been added you can also activate any of these other boxes if you want to edit anything so that having been done I want to show you how you can uh, share now this information in, a, in another format that can be opened by any other person even if they are not working or they are not using uh, project professional software so the first thing is to share the Gantt chart this is if you go back to task this is the Gantt chart view the one that is activated I want you to go to file go to file and down here select print you will see this preview that comes that appears here this is our information and then below the here select the printer as one of these printers I want to use Bluebeam PDF so that that means I'm changing my I'm, 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 I'm creating a PDF file if you don't have Bluebeam PDF you can look for any other PDF creating software that you have installed and make sure you have selected it, it as your, your printer and leave everything else under settings make sure you select entire project select entire project and the pages have a landscape orientation and then after doing that go to page setup here click on page setup and page setup opens I want you to change under page I want to change the paper size so click on this drop down and then select let us use a3 let's try a3 click ok and if you look at our preview we will be having two pages one with the tasks the other one with the chart and I want it to fit in one page so I'll go back to page setup and I'll select a bigger page paper size like a 2 click OK and everything now fits in one page then after that I'll click on this button here print and my PDF will be created printing now I want the file to be named as Gantt chat red zoomer project and I want it to be stored in this fo folder tutorials so I'll click save then it's going to it's going to be saved after saving this is 
this is the, the PDF that we have created so now you can go ahead and share this with other project team members they will be able to know when when a certain when a certain uh, activity is starting how long is taking start and finish dates and all the other information so let's go back to our project and click on this back arrow which takes us back to the Gantt chart view and the next thing I want us to do is to share the network diagram so where is the network diagram so make sure task tab is is clicked on and then under that there is this view click on Gantt chart view then you can see the other views that are available and I want us to select network diagram when we select network diagram this is our network diagram with the critical path highlighted in red so what I want us to do is to share this to print this to PDF so that you can be able to send it to the other project team members and we will do the same go to file select print and under printer this is what I have selected I will print the entire project in a landscape orientation page and the page setup click on page setup and under page I will change the paper size let me try a3 click ok I'll be having five pages I want to minimize the number of pages so let let me go back to page and select a2 what is a2 I saw a2 click ok now that gives me a total of four pages so after that is selected you can see the preview here this is page one this is page two this is page three and page four I think we, will, we will be having a page that is blank and I don't want that to happen so maybe probably we can go back here and change this to a3 back to a3 click ok let's see what happens this is page 2, page 3, page 4 that's ok so I will, I will print it then I will save it as as network diagram red zoomer project under tutorials click save So this is our network diagram in a PDF format. We'll be able now to send this to via email to other members. We can print it and pin up pin it in our notice boards so that every other person can now align themselves with the program that we have. Now having done that. I trust that you are now able to create a project schedule, add the tasks and be able to share your work plan with any other person that needs to get that information. So this marks the end of our video tutorial and I am inviting you to give your views and your comments in the comment section below this video like the video if you like it and more importantly subscribe to my youtube channel i'll be posting other videos for you until next time keep learning and have a good time